and we're back. Right, as we saw in the last video, um, we've got to go up and hit that switch. So that's what I'm going to aim to do now. This area has actually changed a little bit from the Dreamcast and N64 versions. It looks a little different. I prefer it this way. It looks more like a proper fortress, stronghold area. Right, oh, I keep getting hit. I'm not usually this clumsy. I mean, I get hit now and then, but I seem to be even clumsier than I normally am. So sorry about that. Yeah, another enemy. Let's make sure I don't get hit by this one. Right, this is a keg. Grab hold of this powder keg, stand in front of it and release the analog stick. Okay. That's really nice and simple. You usually get just a feel for that. And what we've got to do is both throw it at that. The arrow is pointing at that little thing there. It's kind of like a little thing that's supposed to help patch up pipes and whatnot. And if we take another one of these around here, there's one on this door which is bigger but still yields the same effect. Which breaks open that door and we get that lovely little music. Which means we discovered something really secret. And there's a cage down here. Ooh, that's our fourth cage of this level. Four out of ten. Uh, I was just checking there. I don't think. No, no, no idea. See, before that window used to look out into an, the area we were previously in where there's a secret, if you remember. And I'll, I'll be able to get back in there, but they changed the design. I prefer it this way. So they did change some things around. Make things look a little bit better sometimes. Or we'll just change the challenges. Alright, we've got to hit the switch, which I can do, and then bounce on this piece of rope. You know, I've noticed that my voice is actually... Well, I don't like my voice. I prefer someone like uh, Katrin Annis. I, I prefer her listening to her videos. I mean, it becomes second nature to listen to her. It's almost would be weird to watch videos like Haunting Ground or Turn Fox without her. <laughs> without her voice over the top. She's become somewhat of a good friend. <laughs> even though I've never even seen what she looks like. Right, I've got more of the other ones around here. Yeah, I just don't like my voice. I just think I just sound a bit like I just drone on. And people are just falling asleep to my videos and just don't really want to watch them. Right, another enemy. This is our first truly challenging enemy because it has bigger, more powerful shots, which I'm not going to get hit by just to see how much damage I take. But it's still more of the same. Shooting, just because my shots are slower isn't usually a bad thing because enemies, they sort of go sort of semi-invisible in, and they're invincible during that time because you can't hit them. So it doesn't really matter, so you t your shots have to have a gap between them. You can't just keep pounding on the attacks. Right, some more yellow lums around here. As you see, there's, we've got 37 out of 80, 38 out of 80. And I can tell you now, we won't be getting all 80 on the first run of this. Hit that switch. Oh, oh wait, there's a yellow lump behind there. Right. Now we're back where we started, and we can go through this door now, and head on to the next area. Yeah, I'm watching, um, I've got a good way through Haunting Ground now, and I, I've actually enjoyed watching Katronis play it. It's really fun, I enjoy watching her play video games more than I sometimes enjoy playing them. A bit sad to realise. But I have enjoyed play making these. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'll save again. It won't do any harm. It takes a couple seconds more. Sorry, I didn't really want to have you sit there and watch me save every single five minutes. I'm trying to make say, save sparsely. Right. Okay, there's a couple of electrical fields. This is quite simple. To jump over the first one, walk, and then jump over the second one. You probably will get caught by that the first time you do it. I just know how to do that by now. Right. Oh, there's an enemy in there. You can hit him. He's a, he's a simple enemy that only takes a couple of hits. Two hits to be precise. And, yeah. Yeah, red lumps shoot to you. When you've lost some health, when you're near a red lump, they tend to draw to you. When you're f at full health, they don't. Right. This area is now actually completely different to how it used to look. It's still the same, well not the same design, but it's the same sort of shape-ish. But they completely remodded it and it now actually looks more like a proper prison stronghold. Before it just looked like a weird kind of circular cavern area with someone held in the middle of it. So, you know, it actually looks like a proper prison with loads of little cells which are empty. And yeah, there are a lot of stuff to find around here. Searching for. Yeah, do you want to drop down there? No, I don't want to hang. It's funny in the first Rayman, you had to you had to earn the ability to hang off ledges, which I always thought was quite funny. He has to learn how to hang. But how hard is it to just hang off a ledge? Right, I think I saw the yellow ones around here. Really, really yeah, that's Lee. She's holding that chocolate. 
and she's going to repeat that over and over. I used to think this floor I'm standing on now was actually toxic. I used to think it was actually kind of like bad, so I didn't stand on it at first, and then I landed on it, and I thought, oh crap, but it didn't hurt me. It was just the way it looked. It just looked like it was toxic sludge or something. I thought there was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's supposed to be an enemy there. There isn't now, though. Right, this bit's actually pretty challenging. I'm quite used to it, though. We have to basically carry the keg. Now, there's a trick to this. Before we push the square or circle button to throw it forwards, but we don't want to do that at the moment. You'll see in a minute. I mean, oh, I'm going to go for this one first because there's three of these we have to hit. You probably can't quite see it in the video, but it's over there. It was on the top of that bit. And now we have to head back quickly and get a new one. Now what that'll do is it'll activate a special security program and these little bombs will now start appearing in, every so often and try and come at us. So we've got to be careful. So what we have to do is when they come at us we have to push the X button, or the cross button if you like to call it that, instead throw it upwards and then shoot a shot to hit them and then stand still and catch it when it comes back down again, just like I just did. Once you get that in the system of that, oops, oh crap. I'm, yeah, again, I'm not usually that clumsy. I can usually do this in three goes as it should take. And I'm sorry, it's going to make it take a whole lot longer. Yeah, this area, although it's exactly the same, more or less in the Dreamcast and N64 versions, it looks a lot different in this. In this one, I think, it, uh, I think I'm not sure if the pipe is even a pipe in the other one. It might just be, a, I think it's just, no, just a normal flat platform. But in this, it's all piped and stuff, and it actually looks like a proper machine. Where in a, the other one, it's just got a couple of pieces of machinery. And this one actually looks like real. It's hard to explain. I just, I just like the look of this one more. It looks more intense, like a truly ferocious looking machine. Don't let that sound effect fool you. There is actually another one to hit. Does that sound even play when I hit the first one? Probably didn't. I don't know if the game is programmed to only make that, play that sound when you hit that first one. Maybe it thinks that you'd hit that one first anyway. But I didn't. Because I'm weird. See, that's the way to do it, probably. It just gets harder when you get closer because then you don't have much time to do it. No. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to do it for that one. Okay. I'll try and let you watch the cutscene a bit. I might come in with a few comments. Sorry. Do. Yeah, this is Lee. She's very pretty. She's a fairy. Lee, are you okay? Duh. He's an idiot. Why do we need to find him and get rid of the pirates? Why can't we just get rid of the pirates? Too weak or too stingy? Again, it's such a precise number. It's because you're a woman. We let a man do it. I think I played cards with him once. So he's God then. With a magic of alarm clock. That's what I said, dummy. Well, of course, not just going to be hidden in your basement, are they? Good. Now you're being useful. And this time it isn't slimy and covered in blue box tongue slime. <laughs> Teleport. Why did you just teleport and get the masks? Okay, yeah, problems. They're like the new version of these, like things you could cling onto before. All right, I'm gonna have to stop the video now. See you in a moment.